Hey guys, what's going on? It's Contrabar13 here. Today I'm looking at Wonderland Fantasy Park, I believe it's Fantasy Park. But, uh, yeah, this park is absolutely amazing. Make sure you guys check it out. Subscribe to it, review it, rate it, whatever. Leave comments. I'm gonna place the uh, Steam Community Workshop link in the description, so make sure you guys check down there because. You guys are going to want to check this out in the actual game because no video can give this justice. This park is just it's amazing. It's a mega park. takes up most of the map. You got some nice buildings as you come in. And I don't know if you guys who haven't played Planet Coaster know, but each one of these buildings, like 592 pieces, it's because these aren't in the game. You have to use shapes and objects to put it together. Make it just an amazing building. RCT3 was much easier to make buildings. In my personal opinion. And I'm pretty sure that's known for most people. Wow. So this is an, an amazing entryway. Got some flags. Got milkshake shop, chief beef. This kind of reminds me of like the Disney entrance where you got the main street with all the shops and things on the side. So I guess we'll go to the left first. Not really sure which way I want to go, but I mean, this area looks amazing. Wow. What is this witch house? I didn't even know that was in the game. Got the octopus. I'm not going to be riding the regular rides. I'm only going to be riding the coasters. Wow. Wow. Even the kitty coaster looks like so much fun. Honestly, if this park was in real life, I don't care where it is. I'm going to it. Like... It seems like he made the perfect mix between phenomenal theming and rides that are still good for like teenagers and that sort of thing. Because one problem with Disney World, okay, the rides aren't the greatest for like teenagers or adults that don't have kids. It's mainly more of a family park. But I feel like this park combined them both. Looks like it's starting to turn towards nighttime. Wow. There's a little hut right there. Oh! Through the hut. What was that? I don't even know. Going through like the little village. There's a helix. This is actually a pretty good kitty coaster. I mean, if I was a little kid, this would be awesome. So, uh, yeah, that was an awesome ride. One of the best kitty coasters I have seen. Wow, look at these benches. And with the tables. With the lights under it. Oh. Wow. What did he even use? Use planks, individual planks for each thing. Wow. This is amazing. So great. I know this park is kind of old, but I just, I, I've been in it before, and every time I see it, it's just amazing. This is probably, I'm going to go out on a limb here and say my favorite park on Planet Coaster. This park is just amazing. There's so much detail, even if the, in this little flower area. It's just amazing. Got benches, trash bins. What does this go to? Oh, bathroom, I think. Or no, first date. See, even he makes the first date not look out of place. Because normally first dates kind of break the theme. Except he managed to put it in a hut where you don't really notice it.
Wow. See, honestly, I'm building a park right now, and this is just like... I don't know how I'm supposed to get to these standards. I mean, I'm not gonna, but... I don't even know how I'm supposed to get 25% of this. This is just amazing. The fact that he has this much detail throughout all of the map, basically. That's just crazy. Wow. Wow. Alright, I'm gonna check out this roller coaster right here. I remember this had like some sort of surprise in it. So I'm not gonna spoil it by looking at it. I'm pretty sure this is the one that I'm thinking of. Uh, we'll scoot up to that train in front of us. Oh no, this is the right one. Ooh, wow. There's some like potions and things there. Go other under a little tree. Wait, is this a launch? Oh, right off the bat, a launch. Nice loop. Through the castle. Wow. Wow. What is this room? This room is crazy. The floating barrels and everything. I didn't even know this had a vertical chain lift. Oh. Straight under the trees. This ride's awesome. Another drop? Oh, it's still going? Wow, this is a long coaster. And the end. Even the boarding stations just look amazing. This ride is so awesome. This castle over here, I gotta take a look at this. How did he just plan this out? I don't understand. How did he plan out that... Oh, this ride is going to launch, and then it's going to actually go up from the launch, do some cool turns through a castle, and then go out the top, and I, I just, the creativity is insane. He even built this little bridge here for the brake run. I'm blown away. I, this house, this building is literally just for first aid. This is the amount of detail he puts in for a first aid station. Like, look at this. This isn't even for a ride or anything. This is just for aesthetic. It's amazing. It's over here. There's a ride. Okay. Cool looking ride because of the wood planks he placed. Ooh, a Looney Turns ride. This should be pretty cool. Even the boarding station, once again, is amazing. It all has that fantasy theme. This is the most immersive park I think I've ever seen. Wow. Alright, we're gonna have to get to that later. That looks outstanding. I think we're gonna put this on test and ride it. I don't really check the stats too much just because 
Planet Coaster stats are sometimes a little messed up because they take off on chain lifts and brakes. Well, really, I don't think those are part of the ride. I think the ride is mainly just drop to end. That's it. Hopefully this gets going soon, though, because <laughs> these brakes, as I said before, well, I, I kind of jinxed what I said because uh, these brakes are kind of taking a while. And uh, it's a little bit annoying. Definitely could have lowered the capacity on this ride a little bit. I mean, not lowered the capacity, but he could have lowered the amount of trains. Wait, he only has two trains? How? How does it take so long? Is it like stuck? I'm gonna fast forward and see if anything happens. Um. Um. Hello? Is this ride gonna go? It's not gonna go. I'll just stop test. Uh, number of cars one. Boom. It's now. Oh no! Way too fast. Way too fast. Did not mean to do that. Alright, here we go. Now it should work. I think it might have bugged out a little bit on that last ride. It's okay though. Whoa. That was a cool drop. Of that thing flying around, it barely missed your head through the terrain. Awesome terrain usage, and the fact that he used terrain in such compact areas like this castle's raised. It's just there's terrain usage everywhere on every coast. <clears throat> on every coast, you find terrain just like this one. Amazing. All right, so we're gonna cross on over to this section of the park. There's a billboard here, which means I think don't go that way. Except we're we're gonna just cut through because I don't really want to go around the whole park. May as well just do a full circle. So we come in. Wow, what is this? Wow. And then you got this awesome coaster next to it. And you've got this perfect pathway where you can get amazing views of the coaster. Sorry about my voice. <clears throat> it's kind of getting messed up. Not sure why. Wow. I guess I'm gonna try and speed things up a little bit just because I don't want this video to be too long. I don't want to take like a year to upload. Uh, I'd, li I'd like it to upload by uh, this year. So This area is awesome though. I'm gonna take a ride on this coaster so you go through the queue over this bridge. I think this might be the best coaster in the park. From the looks of it so far, this looks amazing. Test. Boom. Ooh, he's even got some custom support going up. Wow. 
short but awesome that's all I have to say about that that was an amazing ride well <coughs> I guess he just has this area cut off actually I thought you had to go all the way around but I think he just has it cut off I don't know why I think this area is phenomenal I guess it's maybe not finished in a few places but still amazing Okay, so I guess, <coughs> sorry, we should go back to the entrance and go to the right. Last time we went to the left. Oh, he's got Planet Coast, the, lo the logo people walking around. Awesome food court area, themed like castle, fantasy sort of castle. Oh, this launch coaster looks awesome. This reminding of a reminding me of a roller coaster in Europe called Rita. It's got the same sort of color scheme and sort of low to the ground launch coaster. Wow, he just he just does building so well. This, I'm in awe. I don't know how many hours this took him, but the patience that he has to make this is is amazing I guess we can ride this kitty coaster it, do it doesn't look like the best kitty coaster if I'm being honest except it's probably not terrible probably not terrible so let's take a ride Oh, that waterfall is cool. Yeah, that, that's a cool waterfall. You get a good view of the coaster. The red one. Ooh, under the track. Yeah, this isn't the best kitty coaster. I think the other one was a little bit better. This one kind of goes in a circle. Still better than the average kitty coaster, though. Like, I'm pretty sure most kids would be happy with this. And maybe this is kind of like the first ride that kids would ride. And then next they go for that other kitty coaster. It's a little bit bigger. This building looks amazing. See, it seems like I'm using like 1,500 pieces to make a building that looks uglier than this. Honestly, I think I'm just horrible at building. So, uh, yeah. I might show you guys my park sometime soon. Uh, it's n not near finished yet, except it's got two coasters, two pretty well themed coasters. One's a futuristic one, one's a sort of haunted scary one. And it's got the haunted scary areas, has a little bit of it completed. And the futuristic area has also a little bit completed. I'm trying to make it like a pretty big park what I'm going for oh wait oh this is a flying coaster I was about to say how's it upside down like that but it's a flying coaster that makes sense I kinda wanna ride this red coaster if I'm being honest I can't find the entrance though whoa whoa that's the entrance what the in this giant area come up here wow this is amazing yeah I'm saying it right now best planet coaster park 
This is definitely up there with on the levels of Silver Rat and amazing builders like that. So let's see. Oh, you kind of stop in like the pirate's castle. There's like a pirate sign. I guess more fantasy, not really pirate. Ooh, the launch. Yeah, another thing about this guy's coasters are they're all extremely smooth. None of them are out of place or like none of them are super jerky. And they all go through the terrain and the scenery so well. And I think it's also a little bit realistic because it kind of almost advertises the coasters. Wow, this is long. But it almost advertises the coasters while you're walking through the park because you can see the skyline of all them. And because they interact with the terrain and scenery so well, you get amazing views of them. Yeah, but if you see what I mean, like, if you were walking through this area, okay, you walk under this coaster, you see it launching, you see it going, doing these all tight turns over the lake and everything, you would have to ride it. I mean, it's just too cool not to ride. And this area is amazing. Alright, I guess now we can go on the flying coaster. I guess we should look at that area first before we go on. We come down through here, there's a little bridge. Oh, that bridge looks awesome. This bridge looks great. And there's not even a path that goes through it, just for aesthetic, but it's definitely worth it. That looks awesome. Another bridge that he built. Okay, so this area, once again, awesome. Uh, I guess we could go ride Flying Coaster because it's right here. Test, pretty good stats. So, in a Flying Coaster, you normally look down like this like that but planet coaster has you looking up like this and honestly I'd rather look down just because that's what a flying coaster is like I've been on them before and it, it doesn't make sense when you build a flying coaster on planet coaster and you ride it like this because you can go upside down for a fair bit on a flying coaster because you're not actually upside down you're just on your back so I think looking down like this is almost a better experience. Maybe we'll just look like there. I don't know. But up here, I get why Planet Coaster made it like this. It's just, I don't know. Maybe they, they I think they should have just had it look down. Uh, I hope we go at some point. Let's see. Hopefully it's not stuck. Let me check where's the chain lift. I'll speed it up a little. Um. Okay, I'm just I'm just gonna lower it to one train. I don't really want to wait. Oh, there's only two trains, and it's doing that. That's weird. Nope, it's still on three times. No, it's not. Oh, we get to ride this at night, too, with all the lights on. This can be awesome. And I accidentally exit out. It's because this thing bugs me, because it doesn't go away for a second. Wow, that, that building looks awesome. So, yeah, we're going to look down on this one. Whoa. Backs. 
ZRG roll. Oh, into a cave? I think that we might. I don't even know what's going on. This is crazy. See, this would be stupid if you were looking the uh, way that plant coaster makes you look. Because you were on your back f for too long there. It would. You couldn't be upside down for that long. But you could be on your back for that long. If you guys want to know what I'm talking about and you're not really a coaster enthusiast, just look up a POV video of like Tatsu, I guess. Yeah, Tatsu's a good example. Wow, that coaster's awesome though. Where's the entrance to this green one? Oh, over here. Guess we'll have to ride this now. Another launch coaster. And I love launch coaster. Whoa! It's like three layers. You've got a bridge right there. You've got the entrance down there, and you've got a launch up here. Wow. You can't really go down too well in this game, so I tried to do my best that I could to get down. Alright, well, let's ride it. Hopefully it doesn't have the same block section problem. Oh, there's a lot of cars. This, I don't think this is going to work. No, it looks like it is. Oh, there's a... There's like a dragon thing. Yeah, there's a dragon. Oh. Awesome launch out of the tunnel. Another launch up through that gate. That was cool. This kind of reminds me of Cheetah Hunt at Bush Gardens, Tampa. It has the same color scheme and it launches. Whoa, third launch. Ooh, into a cave. to the station I think here yeah break and get to the station that was another awesome ride every ride here is amazing so yeah I guess is that actually it I want to make sure I kind of gave an overview of everything just because it's such an amazing park and it's so massive I feel like I'm forgetting stuff which I definitely am forgetting stuff because it's massive wow so uh, yeah at the end of this I said I'd be giving it a rating out of 10 and uh, I'd have to give it a 10 out of 10 this is phenomenal wow so uh, make sure you guys check out this guy's workshop. I'll have the link in the description. Rate it, subscribe it, get it to five stars. Or I think it actually already is at five stars. But if it's not, get it up there. Because it definitely deserves it. One of the best Planet Coaster parks. And honestly, I think you, should get, you guys should subscribe to it and experience it for yourself. Unless you have like a bad computer... I think this would be an awesome experience for you guys to look at. Maybe get some inspiration from also. It's just there's so much detail and terrain work. This is another thing that I love about parks like this, okay? The terrain work is amazing. So you start out in the park, okay? And you can see that big coaster up there. You can see that inverted coaster over there because of the terrain you can see that coaster over there because it's higher up and really it's just it lets you
be able to see coasters because of the terrain. Even at the entrance to the park, you can see that castle with the vertical drop over there. And that's what I like about Planet Coaster, just what you can do with terrain. And then you got the water, it's just, this park's amazing. Can't say enough good things about it. Uh, I guess this will be it. Peace from Contrabar 13. Set my heart afire.